My name is Ishak Ismail. I'm an artist, a collaborator, and also a filmmaker living and working in Accra, Ghana. My works are imbued by the conversations on place and identity. I'm very much interested in these social, cultural, and political realities embedded within this 21st century and how those realities ultimately impact one's identity. So I create these personified characters which becomes metaphors of people's sentiments and also they become like protagonists to kind of advocate for the voiceless and the masses. I navigate around mediums, uh, acrylic, pastels and charcoal. Currently, I mostly use acrylic as a vehicle for my ideas because of its quick drying ability and also the fact that it is man-made. I have that symbiotic relationship with it. I am very lazy, so I make lazy paintings. However, the idea about the laziness is, is also part, not to denounce my creative abilities, but it is also part of my methodology. You know? So, in as much as the images are made in a contrived manner, they are also made in a spontaneous manner. So it starts with me making sketches with oil pastels in my sketchbook. Uh, then from there, I transport that onto the canvas. Then the work begins. Mostly when I'm in the studio, I'm in a manic state. This whole analogy of high energy, high creativity, and also high euphoria. You know, this allows energy to flow from the universe through my head, through my heart, and onto my fingers. You know, leaving behind certain raw and harnessed uh, mark makings or iconography on the canvas. There are no time period. It could be a day, it could be weeks, months, and probably years. Yeah. There is a certain kind of Western art history and my own personal history, so that becomes a great and a tremendous tool for me to be able to also discard it, you know, by unlearning and relearning. You know, this provides me a certain autonomy to be able to manipulate different shapes and forms. Moreover, looking at the space I find myself, that's Ghana, I also borrow from the space as well. So being in public transport, like this is the trotters, being in Uber, I mostly engage with people by, you know, observing their facial expressions. And I also borrow from there. When I come to the studio, I process those ideas and develop sketches out of those things as well. And also listening to the radio, you know, people voicing out their sentiments or emotions about social culture and political issues. I also listen to that and yeah, I let it infiltrate uh, my ideas in the studio, yeah. 